In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I made these super simple and very affordable window vents for my Subaru. The point of these vents is to keep the bugs out as well as let some ventilation through to keep condensation from building up on the windows when I go to sleep. As you can see, they stay attached to the door glass, which is especially nice on these old Subarus because they don't have a frame around the window and you can't use those slide-on screens or a normal rain guard to get the ventilation. At the heart of this whole project is some super cheap $2 gutter guards that you can get from Home Depot. Some of the tools you'll need is a decent pair of scissors, a soldering iron, a nice sharpie, since the gutter guards only come in white or brown, I bought a can of black paint to help them blend in better with my window tint. The first thing you'll want to do is to roll down the windows to see how far open you want them and to know how big you need to make the vents. Slide the gutter guard onto the glass. There's a channel on the bottom which grips perfectly onto the door glass. And then you'll close the door and outline the shape of the gap that you need to cut out on the gutter guard. You'll notice that the gutter guard is a nice flexible plastic. This is perfect because it forms and makes a very good seal against the rubber weather stripping. Clearly that won't stop water, but it does mean that the bugs won't be able to get around the vent. Now that you've traced the pattern you'll need, go ahead and use the scissors and cut them out. The last part can be a little bit tricky, so you might want to use some tin snips or just some really good scissors, but you'll pretty much be able to just snap it off if you get a good enough scoring on the thick part. Now just go around and clean up the edges, straighten out the lines, and you'll be ready for the next step. And this is where the soldering iron will come in handy. Since we cut that out, now the bug screen is loose around the edges because the glue is no longer there holding it on. So you're just gonna go around the edge with the soldering iron and lightly tap the screen, melting it, and it'll adhere to the plastic on the other side. It's also worth noting that you should probably do this in a well-ventilated area because the fumes are pretty gross. And now you can really test fit your final cutout. I simply roll up the window a little bit more and that squishes it into that weather stripping like I said before, but you will notice that there is this gap down the side. And we're just gonna fill in that gap with a scrap piece of gutter screen. It just tucks up into the bottom of the other screen and down and wedged into the door. Cut it to shape. and continue soldering around the edge like we did for the first piece. Obviously leaving these things white would look pretty trashy on my car, so I give them a few coats of black paint to help them blend in with the window tint. Perhaps if your car is already white, then the white color might not look so bad. And that's all there is to it. Altogether, this project cost me less than $5, and I've already tested these vents out on a trip to Montana, and with a portable rechargeable fan up in the window, I had absolutely no condensation issues, and even better, no bugs. If you'd like to follow along with the rest of our adventures, make sure to subscribe, and to make sure you don't miss out on any other videos, click the notification bell as well.